Hey everybody, today is the day. Isotope released RX-11 today, so I'm going to take you on a quick tour of what's new that might be of interest to the podcast editors or anyone else who's working with dialogue out there, since that's the focus of this channel. We already knew that RX-11 Advanced would have a new dialogue isolation plugin, but let's take a look at what else they've included for us. In terms of dialogue, there really isn't that much. We have an overhauled dialogue isolate, which we knew about, an updated repair assistant, and dialogue control, or an updated dialogue control. Let's take a look at each one real quick. Dialogue isolate. We've overhauled dialogue isolate, adding in dialogue dereverb and state of the art machine learning that enables lightning fast, real time processing. Now you can denoise dialogue or vocals and control reverb in one easy to use module, also available as part of RX11 standard for the first time. The advanced version includes a brand new, highest quality offline processing mode, as well as multi band processing. Clean up tracks faster than ever with enhanced precision. Polished dialogue and sung vocals with ease thanks to new machine learning tech and make final tweaks with deeper controls. The next generation repair assistant goes from trusty helper to lifesaver. We've got a streaming preview, loudness optimize, music rebalance. None of those really affect us. Spectral editor ARA, dialogue contour. This is an advanced only module. Adjust the character and expressivity of a voice with new levels of control in dialogue contour, ensuring that dialogue edits flow seamlessly. Smooth out fluctuations in pitch or tone in voiceover recordings, and seamlessly piece together Frankenbytes to create a cohesive performance. Rounding out the new features, there's a mid side mode, audio devices refresh. So really, there's not a whole lot of new in this. So let's dive into RX and take a look at each one. So let's bring up Dialog Isolate. As we can see, this is RX's response to Supertone Clear. They've more or less mimicked the, the controls. We have voice, reverb, and noise reduction sliders. There's a sensitivity slider. The advanced version also gives us four different bands that we can adjust, both the crossover as well as the amount of processing done on each band. I took a few minutes to play around with it, and in use, it's pretty easy to use, but in my quick testing, I feel the default sensitivity setting of five is too aggressive. It removes too much high end and makes it sound a little too processed for my ears. I want the processing to be as invisible as possible and dialing down the sensitivity a little returns that high end. Here's the new repair assistant. I'm not really a repair assistant user, but comparing it to RX 10, it looks like they've cleaned up the interface. Some you now have four sections and it, gives you the option to learn the track as usual. We have cleanup with denoise and dereverb and toggles for dehum and declick. Tone gives us a single knob and the choice between tilt and scoop modes as well as toggles for low cut and high cut. We have deessing with shaping and threshold controls and a choice between fast and slow modes. And last, we have declip with a threshold slider, output gain knob, and a toggle for the limiter. Let me stop for a minute and ask that if you're getting value out of this video, please like it and share it with others who would find it valuable. That helps me grow this channel so I can keep creating great content for you. Let's move on to Dialog Contour. Dialog Contour is an offline module that's been given a refresh. They've updated the interface and added three controls. You have pitch, formant, and variation. 
this isn't something I've used in the past, and I'm not really likely to use it in the future for podcast editing. It would be nice to have a tool like this to help when I need to make an edit and the inflections or something else don't quite match up. But personally, I just don't feel it's worth the effort to work on such micro details manually in the RX editor, but that's just me. Overall, this is pretty much what I expected from RX11. I'll be doing a more thorough review where I test out the new dialogue isolate against the competition and see how well it stacks up and help you decide if it's actually worth upgrading to RX11. I'll also be doing a full-on shootout comparing the dialogue cleanup tools out there, and that should be pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. I've been saying for a while that RX would need to have something special in RX11 to justify the upgrade for me. To me, this becomes a simple question about the Dialog Isolate plugin. Does it bring something new to the table that my existing options don't? Does it do a better job? Is it easier to dial in? My initial experience tells me no. It would be different if I was still on RX8 and all of the updates they've made since that version might make this a viable upgrade for me. But I'll know more once I've had some time to mess with RX11 a little more this week. Now that you know what's new in RX11, are you thinking about upgrading? Or are you going to sit this one out? Are you underwhelmed by the upgrade? Or was it what you expected? I guess the real question is this. Did Isotope do enough to get your business again? Leave your comments and thoughts below. And if you're not sure about whether to upgrade, check out this video about Supertone Clear, which might be as good or better than Isotope's new Dialog Isolate. It was definitely better than the previous version, and watch for my upcoming in-depth review of RX11. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.